Hi guys, this is Pradeep. Today I have taken one very important topic and uh, it's how much it's important to practice on live project for during your SAP learning. So let me tell you from what is the background about this particular questions. Very often I'm getting a lot of questions on my comments. Uh, sir, I have uh, completed my FICO training but when I'm looking for the job, so everyone is looking that you must have uh, one or two end-to-end -end implementations. Uh, some supporting uh, pictures which I have added here that is I have just extracted from the Nokia.com and it is very often that in every job you, when you will search that you will find that you must have experience on this particular area you have good exposure on product costing you must have good exposure on uh, let's say uh, profitability analysis or you have uh, completed couple of uh, implementations right so it's very often now what exactly you will do here and let me tell you what on on this what people are doing here people are adding fake experience so they are just collecting some informations or some getting some inf informations from colleague or uh, maybe from the institute where they have taken the training and they are just adding some fake experience some xyz client information and after that they are saying that i was there in the particular project because everyone is looking experience candidate or project experience so this is not the right way. So when you are adding the fake experience, that means you are just inviting some problem because you never be part of that project. You don't know anything about that project. So in, first of all, you will not able to score well during the interview because you don't know what type of project it was, right? So you don't have any information, first thing. And second thing, when you will, there will be a verification. So in background verification also, 100% chances are there, rejection will be there. So this is absolutely a wrong practice multiple times I already told you that no need to go for fake experience. Next question is then if we are not going to add the fake experience and as everyone is looking for here the uh, project experience so uh, how we will handle it. First let me tell you what you understand about the project experience. So project is nothing but whatever you learn that you are going to apply in your work. Right. So in IT it is very common it's not only related to SAP. It is you take any particular techno other technology you will find that projects are must so anyone from the engineering background you can very well connect this one so when you are studying in your college and during BTEC so you are also submitting different projects so what is the meaning of that so that means you are saying that it's a proof I have completed this project although it was a learning project but I was there and I have completed so that in future when the interviewer is going to take the interview so they can ask good number of questions from that project because everyone is looking here that experience candidate so candidate like for example uh, again another feedback i'm getting we have the conceptual training but we don't have the hands and expertise i know everything i know like receivable payable i know the uh, product costing but everything is theoretical it's not theory so whenever you are going to be there in the job you will be part of one project it may be a uh, implementation end-to-end -end implementation it may be a migration it may be support whatever it is no company is going to give a chance that you join here as a fresher or you don't know anything and you learn from the client informations. So that is not the way. So everyone is looking here that we will hire someone and immediately after just completing the onboard training and KT, uh, immediately within one week or maximum within 15 days you are going to be part of the project and you are going to handle something. Of course you will be part of one team or under one principal consultant but you should not be 100% dependent on the team or your, on your consultant so that is why because the company is not going to take you that you will learn here they have not uh, like they have not opened the training center right so that is why it is highly required you have a 100% practical in knowledge so that is why project is coming into the picture and it is very very important so when you are saying that I know something, you have all the authentication that you can prove yourself that I completed this particular project. Next question from where we will get this information. No need to do, no need to show any fake experience. Whenever you are learning or whenever you are, you, you got the training somewhere, anywhere. So you should get all this information like in what, from the day one you should work on the project. You know what is the business process, what we are actually doing, we are the consultant. So clients, they are already having a lot of issues in the their business process. They have already their business process. They have a costing department, they have a finance department, they have procurement, sales, everything is there. All the business process related to businesses, it's already there. It's not like if they will implement SAP, then they are going to adapt the business process. 
maybe they will adapt some good best practice but still they have the business process and they have n number of problems are there so that is why they are going for recipe implementation or erp implementation so your job is to identify their project and with your application and your experience your skill you are going to give the solutions so interviewer also exactly looking the same approach from you so when you are saying that i have not completed any project then it's no one is going to believe you that you have some knowledge on that particular area so that is absolutely uh, no concept like you will say that theoretically i know but i don't know practically so it is no meaning so when you are saying that i know something that means you have a good uh, hands on or you have a good expertise on those area and that is why project is required project is nothing but whenever if companies are looking for end to end implementation that means you have tested all the business process which are part of your scope right so if you are saying that i was part of the p2p process so it is your job starting from the purchase process till payment each and everything you must have configured in the sandbox it's not about the fake experience it is actually you involved in the system and you have configured everything you must have created the logistic configurations you must have configured all the integrations in detail so the payment the manual payment the app payment so each and everything you have configured so when you will configure something uh, then you will get that confidence in your body language in your answer so that interview can test it so when you will say that i configured the p2p it should be the related case and then they will say what was the scenario right so how like how many conditions you have created so all these questions will be there but you will say i have the knowledge of accounts payable then what question they will ask you just think from your if if just you are saying that accounts payable account payable is a very vast term it is part of your p2p process so in detail you have to show so that you will do or that you can show once you have a good clarity on the process and good clarity you will get once you will configure in the system so that is why whenever you are learning something without project i believe that is incomplete learning so you can't say that without having any project or any configuration or without having any hands on experience right in the system so when i am when i whenever i am saying experience don't get me wrong that you will add the fake experience i never said that go for a fake experience it is going to spoil your career so no need to add any fake experience confidently you can say i have completed three projects and then one project you can say this is related to this company this is related to manufacturing this is related to service you create your different scenarios of course right now when you are learning you don't have much expertise on those area you can't create your business scenario so that is why ask your trainer or, or your mentor to give n number of business process so it is highly required the more you will spend the time on the machine or on the system you will configure more definitely will get lot of Uh, queries or definitely will get lot of troubles so that is why you will get the help from your mentor to explore because whenever you will uh, in, in interact with your system you will configure something maybe out of 10 maybe 2% you will configure but still you have a scope of improvement so on multiple times uh, when you will practice so you will configure and practice does not mean that same thing copy paste again and again you are not going to join as a clerk you are going to join as a consultant associate consultant junior consultant so that is why explore multiple business scenarios multiple configurations i mean multiple things business process you have to configure couple of examples i am going to show you in the system where you can uh, get the idea that why project is very important now for example you are saying that i configured uh, uh, vendor payable right so when i am saying vendor payable that means it is part of p2p i configured the receivable it is part of o2c i configured the wip now what is wip wip is nothing but it is a part of your cost of production calculation one component interviewer is going to ask the question or in the job description they are looking that candidate must have the configuration wip knowledge it means they are trying to check your knowledge or your expertise that entire product costing so each and everything they can't show in the job job description so that is why the key areas the important areas they are showing so when you are saying that i am i don't i know the wip that means you are saying that i have the complete information uh, complete knowledge on the product costing i have the complete knowledge on the variance so each and everything you have to configure in the system so you believe me you try all this approach you configure everything in the system you try all the integrations you prepare different test scenarios the next when you will take the interview you will feel the difference only having the theoretical knowledge then interviewer is going to ask you some cross questions and all then gone so 
like your chances will be rejection will be high or in first round will be rejected but when you configure everything the various type of cross questions will be there you can easy easily handle it right now let me show you here in the system a couple of uh, business scenarios uh, and now you will get it why it is very important that you should have the project knowledge so let's so now this is my uh, sap software and in this sap software uh, let's randomly take one vendor invoice so which is fbl1 and i am sure you much very much aware about this okay a lot of people they are what they are doing they are posting the vendor invoice through fb60 that means without purchase order but in reality we hardly post the any transactions through fb60 so it will be always initiated from the procurement department that means there must be some logistic transactions should be there the integration should be there then finally you are going to have the invoice but if you directly post the fb60 that means you are going to credit vendor and you are going to debit something now what is that from where it is initiated what product you purchased what is the quantities what the condition was there any discount was there freight is there or not so all these things it is in good the moment they will ask some cross questions then it will be very difficult now let's uh, randomly like let me take here one item here uh, just randomly let me put uh, pick one item here suppose let's say uh, let's take this 51000 document right so it is a vendor document now when you are posting the transaction through a b60 you will get the document type care so that is not the right one i mean that is without po but we will take this one now if i am the finance or particularly from the ap team then my job is i am going to it's already paid this is the payment through app but let's say this one is open item now we need to uh, make the payment but before that i want to see all the informations related to this particular uh, this particular invoice so here this is accounting invoice right but i want to see complete information and that is why whenever you are going to see the relationship browser here you are going to get all the details related to this particular vendor so you must have uh, uh, like your purchase order then you have your material document which is gr with reference to that the integrated document right then we have your vendor invoice uh, vendor in this is your vendor invoice from the logistic then finally we have the accounting invoice now once I, and related all the master data also you are creating po i mean vendor all the roles everything you are assigning the material master so now if you are not going to complete this one as part of your project and just you are going to post a b60 entry then you don't have all these informations so that is why let's say they will ask if some price difference is there and how you will handle it now you don't have any question there is no price difference because you never raise any PO, right so that is why each and everything you just think from the business process point of view that what could be the different scenarios will be there and of course uh, i know that it is very difficult for you to create the scenarios at this stage when you are going to start a career so that is why high need is required you should get different business scenarios from your mentor or your trainer right so it's not that difficult only thing is if you are going in the right way then it will be easy so now you can see here the end-to-end -end process it is there related to payable now if i will take any uh, let's say customer invoice which you are executing a bl7 n uh, sorry a bl5 n now here also you are posting a b70 entry that is also not the correct one right so let's take here any document suppose let's say i will take this document now this document is my collection document and this document is my uh, sorry this is my invoice document and this is my collection document and right now I'm in only showing in on premises same, same can be also verified in the fury too right so you will go to here and you will see the different this is my accounting document but i want to see the complete process so complete process you will get from here so here we have a sales order is there here we have the uh, this is sales order then we have the delivery to node then we have the pgi or the material document then we have the accounting document maybe this is transferred to copa so that is why co document is also uh, there because ultimately when you are going to transfer your uh, uh, when you have the revenue that you are transferring to sales as well as the cost also you are going to transfer to copa so everything should be there and this is the right approach so when you are saying that okay i was talking about wip let's run one uh, wip report uh, okay so let's say let's take the gl data abl 3n and here if i will take let's say Uh, sorry let me search it okay so now if we will uh, this is one production order and with reference to production order this wap created from here can you get any information 
No, this is the final output of the entire process. If I want to see the WIP, then where I need to go to, I need to go to the PP part and there I will see that how this document is or how this WIP created. So that's why when you are showing that I have the knowledge of WIP or I know the configuration of WIP, then the interviewer is next is going to uh, ask the questions like, tell me about your production order, how the result and this is you define, right? So what about your uh, operations? How many operations you have created? So you are going to give an interviewer that what type of questions they are going to ask. But if you are just going to say that I have knowledge ECO, I have knowledge of uh, CO, it is very wide term. CO is too vast. So what exactly your expertise area, right? So let's check this one. So it is the production order. Now I will check this particular production order and let's see what was the production so production order number was 100154. 100154. Now this is the production order and in this particular production order, so WIP information was there. Now if I will go to my details, then definitely I will get the same figure which is initially calculated, uh, initiated here, then it is calculated in controlling, then finally we got the information so suppose if i will check my wip so my wip figure is what 3431.60 and exactly same information it is there i need more details in the cost calculation and all so this is how it is cost is calculated so i have all the informations i have the uh, plant cost i have the actual cost variance everything and the end result wip so that is why you give like the complete scenario whatever you have configured then only you are going to get all the information so this is what i'm trying to say here so when you are preparing anything, I mean preparing for your SAP finance job or consulting job, make sure that whatever you are showing in your resume, so you have enough uh, proof. Proof means documentation proof is not required. You must have good number of uh, time you spent already in the machine or in the system on that particular business scenario so that it will be easy for you to uh, better performing in the inter I mean in particular interview so and second thing you, you you can feel it the moment you will follow this approach the way you will answer interview will get the yes this person is actually spent the time on the system and configured a lot of things so fake experience or fake project all these things are not the solution you have to work in the system so thank you very much for watching this particular video any question feel free to add in the comments